What does a lion and tiger have in common? Ask a scientist and they'll tell you that they share nearly 99% of their DNA. But let's go more basic. Ask a child. Most children would associate these two animals for obvious reasons. Besides being nearly identical genetically, they live very similar lives. One in Africa, one in Southeast Asia, both top predators consuming a carnivorous diet. They both have sharp teeth and claws for tearing flesh, and they both are feared by humans and animals alike. What does a chimpanzee and a human have in common? Ask a scientist, and they'll tell you that we share 99% of our DNA with chimpanzees. Ask a child, and while they would certainly see the similarities of our two species, they likely wouldn't associate us in the same way they'd associate lions and tigers. Why is this? Well, for starters, humans and chimps live very different lives today. Humans have largely moved on from the jungles and savannas where we evolved next to each other. The chimps, however, are still there, living the life they always have. Our modern lives are anything but natural. Nowhere is this more evident than our diet, where most of our calories now come from animal and processed foods not found in nature. But if lions and tigers are 99% similar genetically and consume identical diets, apart from the species they consume, can we learn anything from what chimps eat? The answer is yes. We likely filled an almost identical niche to chimpanzees as we evolved. And what do chimps eat in the wild? Plants. They consume 97% of their calories from plants, mostly fruit. In fact, they eat over 100 species of plants. How many species are in your fridge right now? Amazingly, over 50% of their calories come from figs. But that leaves 3% of their diet. Chimps do indeed eat meat, in the form of other primates. However, meat is a status symbol, and most meat consumption is from dominant males. On average, chimps have just 9 meat days a year. That's less than one day a month eating meat. How many days a month do you eat meat? Should we eat more like the chimpanzee? Absolutely. The longest living populations on Earth are known as blue zones. There are five of them. One common theme, they all eat 95-98% to 98 of their calories from whole plant foods. That might tell us something. Likewise, humans have no genetic adaptation to eating meat. Do your canine teeth really resemble these? When was the last time you stalked an animal and tore it to pieces? To share 99% of our DNA with a plant eater and somehow turn into a carnivore would be an unprecedented genetic and evolutionary departure. We are plant eaters. Eat like a chimpanzee. Lots of plants, lots of fruit, and if you feel like it, lots of figs. One of the few ways that humans and chimps do differ, that 1%, is that human beings have more copies of a gene that produces salivary amylase, which is an enzyme that helps us digest starches. This suggests that maybe a difference between the human and chimpanzee diet is that we're meant to eat more starch-based foods. Of course, this makes sense because most of the world is fed on starches, like wheat, rice, corn, beans, and potatoes. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you next week with another one. Take care.